Hi everyone, my name is Susan Ingram. I'm the Executive Director for Big Brothers Big Sisters of Ottawa. We've been partners of United Way Eastern Ontario along with many other youth serving organizations together supporting youth and making sure that they get the chance to be all that they can be. I have to say that this year has been one of the most challenging but a really inspiring year of our partnership because of the way our community rallied together to keep our services going and being mindful at the same time of what the pandemic meant for agencies like Big Brothers Big Sisters of Ottawa and our community. In March, United Way and its partners formed the Community Response Table, of which including Big Brothers Big Sisters of Ottawa, we were over 70 agencies. We were service providers, government and community leaders and corporate Ottawa. We all came together to coordinate efforts at a time where the community needed us the most. This table was inspiring, it was innovative, and we supported each other in the community through a very tough couple of months. And now during the second wave of the pandemic, we continue to come together on a regular basis to figure out how we can still continue to help one another, support one another and get through this together. And this was thanks to United Way. So at the beginning of the pandemic, while Big Brothers Big Sisters of Ottawa, we continued to provide our mentoring programs. We were very lucky to know that our mentors would continue to show up and that our youth really needed them the most at this time. So they started to meet virtually, they FaceTime, they talked on the phone, they texted. But what we didn't know and what the uncertainty was around was how we were going to continue to fundraise and find those necessary resources to keep those relationships going. And how we were going to provide all the additional support that we were being asked for by our families, our volunteers and our youth. The United Way really helped to enable this by, the, by connecting us with others in the community and to help us find innovative ways to continue our work together and to those additional supports like food and childcare, mental health supports and computers that our youth and our families needed so desperately. So now we're entering a new phase of the pandemic. And what I can say to you is that our youth at Big Brothers Big Sisters really still need their mentors and they're still asking for new mentors. And during this time of uncertainty and isolation, they need them even more. They need someone to keep them motivated, help them to stay hopeful and show them that they can be resilient and how resilient the community can be. But this can't happen without support from you. So please, I would like to ask you to show your support of your community and of the youth in your region by giving generously to the United Way this year. I thank you for your time and I hope you stay safe and healthy.